Romans chapter 13, verse 8. I just want to talk to you tonight. It's my kid that I'll be great. But it's all right. It's all right. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, we are in a place and a time where God is making things plain. And y'all, if I if I don't see it, it's because I don't want to. I don't want to see it. If I don't wanna see, if I don't see what God is doing, it's because I have a declaration in my heart. I'm not ready for God to take over my life. And what a fool thou is when one says that they're not ready for God to take over what He created. I hate to tell you, He's been in control all the time. He has a way of letting you see you. By allowing you to think your decision was your decision, but he allowed that decision that you made to show you what you are made of. Every decision that you make was made by God. But he has a way of, of, of allowing you to see yourself through the decision that he put in your life that you took credit for. And the only thing that you don't have to worry about it, because I taught you last week on Wake Up With Jesus, you've already been sanctified. Uh -huh. There is no searching and, 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 and trying to find the Holy Ghost. I got to get the Holy Ghost. Baby, let me tell you something. It ain't, no, it ain't, it ain't you that's going to get the Holy Ghost. Sooner or later, the Holy Ghost is going to get you. Yeah. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Sooner or later, the Holy Ghost is going to get you. And the bottom line is you're going you're gonna to get tired of bumping your head against the Holy Ghost. I got a headache. That's because you're bumping your head against the Holy Ghost. Look in the mirror. You ain't got to tell nobody you lied. You know you lied. Look in the mirror. You ain't got to tell nobody you didn't treat somebody right. You know you didn't treat them right. Look in the mirror and tell yourself the truth. Tell yourself the truth. Well, Bishop, if God got if God all of that and, and, and God and let me uh, let these decisions seem like my decisions, why He let these decisions seem to be bad? Because He wants you to know you're bad. Oh, I'm gonna say you're bad, ass. <laughs> you are bad. You don't want to be good. So why would God let a bad person live in good decisions? You are what you, these decisions that you're living in, God said, this is what you are. And I'm letting you know through the decision that I'm allowed to come your way that you think you are making. Turn this up, man, because I want to need it. The power of grace is what you need. Put, put, push the main up a little bit. Push the main up. Yeah, the first one. There you go. The power of grace. There you go. There you go. There you go. I got to yell now. I can talk to you because I didn't come to yell at you. I come to get this out of my chest. Amen? And, and, and as I get it out of my chest, you're going to see. And I'm going to read the scripture to you. It says, 13 and 8. It says, Jesus Christ is the same when? Yesterday. Today and forevermore. So do not be attracted by strange new ideas. Your strength comes from God's grace, not from rules about food, which don't help those who follow them. <laughs> the grace of God is why I live. Without, without God's grace, none of us would be. I was a thought that God said grace over and then placed me in my mother's womb. That in your womb was a thought that God already said grace over. Can nobody do nothing to us in her womb? Can nobody do nothing to you without God's what? God's what? God's what? Permission. That's why he said my perfect will or my permissive will. 
My permissive will is to show you who you are. My perfect will is for you to be like God. I mean, he said, be, be like him. And it's not hard to be like God. Except God keeps showing me that I'm not ready because he, he keeps showing me that I'm living in bad decisions because I'm at. Am I making any decisions deep? See, because if you were as bad as the decision that you were making, you wouldn't be here. If you were as bad as the choices you were making, you wouldn't be here. If you were as bad as the, bad as the things that you that, that you say you are, you 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 wouldn't be sitting up in this church. That's why y'all kill me. If you want to be bad, don't come to church. This ain't, this ain't the place for bad people. Church is a place where people want to um, get out of bad, get into good so they can become godly. Amen? Amen? But I got a whole lot of people up in the church thriving to show how bad they are. I'm okay guy. Not a bad guy. Now, a bad guy does good things. Right? So that tells me a good guy also has to be able to do what? Bad things. But whatever that good or bad guy does, it is by the it is by the it is by the it is by the grace of who? Y'all sit here and say grace over your food. But you won't say grace over a situation before you cuss somebody out. You say grace over your food. But you won't say grace over the man um, standing on the corner, even though you ain't got no money for him, you should have some what? Grace. When we say grace over our food, we feel comfortable eating the food. Am I right? I just said grace, so I know I'm all right. Can you see the brother G? God says right here very plainly. Your strength comes from God's grace. You are living through the bad decision that God allowed you to be in. Because he said, my grace going to sustain you till you realize there's nothing in that decision that you want to be a part of. There's nothing in that decision that you want to be a part of and my grace going to hold your hand until you realize this. Oh, by the way, verse 7 says, remember your leaders who taught you the word of God. Think of all the good that has come from their lives and follow their example of faith. You ain't got to worry about me. When God anointed me bishop, the anointing was his what? Grace. You better hear the word of God. Come on, bishop. Most people get God's grace, and when they get anointed, y'all are y'all anointed ministers? Y'all are some of y'all are anointed deacons? And y'all say, damn God's grace. Every time you don't feel like walking through the nose, you say, damn, God's grace. But God's grace take care of you even in your damn moment. I'm tired of you not being all that you could be and should be and enjoying heaven right now. And heaven is being with God. Without any hesitations. Without, without a conscience. I am with God. I don't have a conscience because no matter what I do, don't do, I know God has already said grace over me. Amen. Y'all got a problem with that. Tell me you sorry. Tell me you sorry. Tell 
me, I feel better. If you tell me you're sorry, I'm going to tell you you're sorry for one reason. God, this is killing me. I'm going to tell you I'm sorry for one reason. Not because I need your blessing, but, but your feelings say you need to feel better. That's all. Remember your leaders who, who, who taught you the word of God. Think of all the good that has come from their lives. And follow the example of their faith. I live by faith and not by sight. I keep God in Orlando because I have faith that I'm not wasting my time. I have faith that one day a life will go on and you're going to say, you know what? I will never let Bishop beat me to church and he's coming all the way from Orlando. I have faith you're going to do that one day. But until then, I'll let God's grace keep covering you. But I'm not going to lose faith waiting on you. Because I waited on God and he's put in my, put in my life that his grace is sufficient. Now I said all that about me because I know about me. But I want to tell you there's nothing that God has done for me that he had already done for you. I am no better than you. I can't get over what God taught me the other day. He said, when you become a teacher, you must be, you must, you must, you must give them a lesson. I just love it. You like that? You like anybody like that? You like that, Mr. Aaron? God said, when you become a teacher, you must give them a lesson. He said, you must become less so they can move on. Lesson. Less on. I must become less so you I, 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 that's what makes me a good teacher. I'm not a moron. See, when I try to teach y'all, y'all try to tell me y'all know more than me so, so y'all can move on. That makes you a moron. Because you don't want to listen to the less son. When, I'm, when I tell you about my less, you say, yeah, I knew he was doing that. I know he ain't no good. He ain't got no business doing that as a pastor. Guess what, baby? Whatever I'm doing, guess what? God's grace got me. So I got no problem becoming less because I know his grace is going to keep me. I got no problem becoming less because I know you can't do nothing about that, that, that his grace ain't already taken care of. I ain't got no problem about becoming less so you can move on. Yes. 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 But your dog on moron. When you talk about what God has given to teach you, you are now thinking you are more. And you're going to move on. More wrong. Less son. Take the sacrifice of your teacher. Embrace him and learn how to help those that, that, that feel like they're less than you. You give them a lesson by becoming less so they can feel better and move on. Are we talking about anything this, tonight? God's grace. Grace. Lord, before I eat these chitlins, I know they all good. I don't know what might have been in them, but let me say grace over. Boy, look here, don't let them be seasoned right. Thank God for these tidbits. You eat them because you done said what over them? Grace. Eating that sugar with a nice tea. <laughs> but you eat it because you done said grace, and God's grace say you all right. So what I'm trying to tell you it don't mean nothing. You, you, you will say grace on some, on some dead chickens. You will say grace on some dead cow. You will say grace on some dead hogs. But you won't say grace on your living brothers and sisters. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hmm? Yes. Come on. Cause you know why? You are into the more, and you wish they were just as dead as these chickens, dead as this chicken, dead as this cow. You will say grace, the power of grace. You have been sanctified. God said grace over Eve, and Eve killed Adam. 
God said grace over Adam. And Adam let Eve die. So when death came into the picture, it wasn't God that put it into the picture. They didn't take care of each other. And now that I see what a woman would do to a man, and see what a man would do to a woman, baby, I'm going to put my grace in the hand of God. I need you right now. When you get in trouble, you don't know what to do. What I, what I told y'all two, three weeks ago, what you need to do? Take a, take a knee. Bow unto the Lord. Because now when I take a knee and I get up, I know the next step that I take is ordered by who? God. Because I bow unto him. Whether I understand it or desire it or not, I took a knee. So Lord, guide my step. I am looking to the hills who will come to my help. Now, whether I do something wrong according to your understanding or right according to my understanding, it don't even matter because I know who's leading me. Because I honored him before I took the next step. Same thing with grace. Before I add pity into your life, do you mind if I say grace over? I was at a light the other day. Brother Zala, I was saying, I was praying over him. Gave him two dollars. It was yesterday, wasn't it? Gave him two dollars. He, he started crying. He said, you don't even know. This prayer means more to me than the money. He said, thank you. It wasn't about my, my, my power to pray or the great words that I was praying. I was just reminding him that, you know what, grace got you. Y'all say grace over that dead chick. Over them dead call guns. But you won't say grace over your living brothers and sisters. Wake up everybody. No more sleeping on God. It's time to say grace. Time to appreciate what God's put in your life. He didn't put me in your life. If God lets you know what's going on with me, he put my kisses in your life to see who you really are to him. If God let me know what's going on with you that is not good, he put your issues in my life to let me know where I am with him. And if I don't say grace over your issues, I'm, I'm perpetrating about God. That's all it is. And I put a whole lot of pressure on y'all because I tell y'all all my shit on the I tell it all to you. Bishop, God, leave with you. That's not do that to me, Bishop. Bishop, I just can't take no more of you, Bishop. I, I just can't, I can't take no more of you, Bishop. Well, you don't know God because God told you he wouldn't put more on you than you could what? Yeah. Hey, hey. God didn't put those issues in my life. I mean, I didn't put no issues in my life. He put them there. And he told, he told, he told Paul, he said, Paul, I got them watching you. I got them watching you, Paul. Paul was saying, but, but I would be a better leader if I didn't, if I didn't do these things right here. You could just take the sword out of my side. I would be a better leader. Don't feel good to be able to write without having a mood cap. They just don't care. They just don't care. They just don't care. I, 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 will, I be feeling you. I care. I said grace so you're not doing the camera on Monday and Thursday night. Am, 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 am I helping anybody tonight? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. This, 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 I ain't never been able to do this. I ain't never been. Mr. Everybody, come here. Let me, let me do something. Come here. I don't want to do this, bro. I don't want to do this. Come here, Mr. Everybody. I got you there. Everybody in my family. I'm bad. I always work. Bad work doing service. Bad work after service. Bad work. Bad. So her name, her name ain't bad. Her name is bad work. Missionary Bell. Don't look 
looking for? They are, they are, see, they are, they are cool, calm, and collected. See, y'all y'all don't get it. They are turning all y'all over the car. She turned all y'all over the car. Turn y'all over to God. God said, Go. She said, Can I please? <laughs> just one time, can I just tell him, tell her one time? You know, just one time. And I know she said, You know how I know she said? Because God had her working in service and after service, so she can't say nothing to nobody. <laughs> So keep on going, keep on going up on us, God keep on working. <laughs> but God's grace is sufficient. So now here she is, all that God wants her to be. All you look at her, she said, wow. She she was in church one night and one with three people here, her and two more. And you know, you know the funny thing about it, Deep? It was her and two more, and then one of them got up the left, so it was just her and one more. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. Rap, hang on. Don't tell them, Rap. Don't, t- don't tell them who it was, Rap. Don't tell them. Don't tell them who it was, Rap. Don't tell them. I got cameras. I watch everything. Don't tell We ain't going to tell them, Rap. We ain't going to tell them who we ain't going to tell them. We ain't going to tell them you can't fight, Rap. We ain't going to tell them. Oh, I, I mean that, Rap. You, you say don't do it like that? You already got it? <laughs> she said, don't do it like that. I'm trying to tell y'all, I ain't beat him up. But what I'm doing is, I got him on a place. We see the vision. I got him on a place. Give a hand, y'all. We don't know if you're hugging. <laughs> so you said, come back, come back, come back. Come back, you said, back, come back. Now go back, go back. Give another hand, y'all. Just sit down. Go back. Go back. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm not, I'm not picking on rap. The beautiful thing about us is this is how God works. He corrects with love. When God corrects with love, He makes you laugh about what you should have did. He makes you laugh about what you should not have done. Now some of y'all would call Ralph in the open and, and, and made Ralph leave the church. Again. <laughs> some of y'all would call Ralph in the open. <laughs> but God says, watch this. God says, I gave you grace, so don't you embarrass nobody either in front of somebody or not in front of somebody. I will have a moment where we can hash this out. You can show God what he did, but everybody's going to have fun with it. That's the love of God. Yeah. Amen. I'm not this smart. But I cannot not love. I love rap. And watch this. Because of the grace I receive, I love him no matter what he do. I love you can will. And because of the grace that I have received from God, I love him no matter what he do. Many of y'all have heard me come to you and tell me, what I, what I tell y'all all the time, you can't do what in my eyes. You can't do no wrong in my eyes. Because of God's grace, I found that I couldn't do no wrong in his. So what I look like counting your wrongs. Amen. I love you, Jesus. Do you really? I worship and adore you. Do you really? How do you treat what he loves the most? Because that's telling him whether you worship him and adore him or not. I gave you grace. You'll say grace over a chicken. But you won't say grace. You'll say grace over the chitlins. 
but you won't say grace over your brother and sister's soul. Something wrong with that in the I can see y'all right now. Y'all got, y'all got that big old spray in the mouth. Anybody say grace? Uh, my stomach hurting right now because I didn't say grace over Alma Joy before I ate it. <laughs> so good. <laughs> it really is. That's why y'all saw me walk out and open a little bit more. I, I, I had this steak from Longhorn, and, and I, I, I ate it, and then I wanted some sweets, so I ate that dog on Amber Joy, and I should have said, grace. But God, there's power in grace. And watch this. When you say grace over what you don't want or don't like in your life, you position yourself where God can't tell you no. You position yourself where you don't walk in those bad decisions no more. And then when I do walk in the bad decisions, I'm not here for me, I'm here for who? God. Hello, somebody. When I do, hey, hey do my favor, move, move down a little bit. Move down a little bit. Move down two chairs. We got, we got, we got, I don't know if he's a guest or member. I don't know what to give me. I, I, I don't want him looking around. There, there you go. Appreciate it. Yeah, he, he whatever he want to be. Whatever you want to be, then you, 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 you got my grace. <laughs> so, are we, anybody enjoy this tonight? Amen. Amen. Them chitlins. And I, I, I eat them. And <laughs> you bring me some, anybody who bring me some chitlins will make you eat them first. <laughs> I am not eating your chitlins until you take a bite first. <laughs> you might have a special plate just for me. <laughs> but, so, don't worry about me. Don't worry about those who deliver grace. Because in order to deliver grace, you must already know that there's grace over your life. I don't want. I don't. I, I don't want to stop people saying grace over food. If, if, if you got to say grace over food, go ahead and say grace over food. What I will do want to do. God is the adder to her. He's not a taker from him. So I'm not coming here taking, telling you don't say grace. Over your food no more. That's what your earthly parents told you. Before you eat, boy, you better say your grace. But I come to add to what your parents told you. Before you get mad at somebody, think about the grace that God said over you. And give that grace to them. In that grace, you will find long suffering. In that grace, you will find brotherly love. In that grace, you will find patience. In that grace, you'll find brotherly kindness. In that grace, you'll find temperance. Anybody get the picture? Amen. Huh? Amen. When I say grace, I say the fruits of the Spirit over your life. And my life becomes fruitful. When I say grace, I say the fruits of, spirit, of the Spirit over your life, and my life becomes fruitful. It ain't got to be no long, drawn out. And don't, 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 I don't know when I'll be able to do this again, because they, they showed up tonight, but they, they might not be in the next assignment. Y'all, it's Thursday night or two. When, when, when I say grace, when I say grace, I become a grace giver. So now I become fruitful. But the bottom line is who's enjoying the fruit when I say grace? The one I'm saying grace over. See, when you say grace at that table over that chicken, you say grace because you fit enjoy that chicken. But when you say grace in the spirit, 
The one that's going to enjoy the, 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 the grace is the one that you're saying grace over, not you. If I'm saying grace over her, you know what y'all do? A lot of y'all, oh, let me pray for you by the name of Jesus. Yes, God is all. He's all. He's your all in all. God loves you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, God. But watch this. I got an audience. It ain't real grace if I won't pray if ain't nobody looking. See, grace ain't nothing for prayer over somebody's circumstances. Grace ain't nothing for prayer over somebody's situation. Grace wasn't up a prayer over this chicken I'm gonna eat that I don't I don't know whether to cook spit in it or not, but it's okay because I said Grace makes you not think of the negative things that could have happened in the kitchen. So when I say grace over somebody's life, I shouldn't be thinking about the negative things that they have done to me or could have done to me or I think they did to me. Hello somebody. When you say grace, you don't consider the negative. I told y'all about the time I was in my dorm working. Back in 1977, sophomore in college, I came home. I was working on the grill. No, 76. First year there. Working on the grill. Later on, a double cheeseburger. Cooked a double cheeseburger. Back then, they called it a grill order. Special order. I was that guy. I'm doing it and did it film. She comes back and says, this is not hot. I said, I just took it off the grill. She says, it's not hot. So then, I throw it on the grill again and did it, did it, did it. Give it back to her. Now, she up. She says, it's not hot. My manager comes back here. What are you doing, Robinson? I said, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I'll make sure it's hot the next time. But y'all make them people mad. Who we'll cooking your food? Amen. It was hot all right. Two of them two patties on the floor, put them upside down, two on the grill, they were very hot. And they kind of <laughs> You're right. Don't make people mad who handle your food. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Don't make people mad who handle your food. But sure, you know what? Along the way, because I did that, guess what? Somebody did it to me, but it didn't bother me because I said what before I ate? Right. Hello, somebody. She felt crunchy too, because I bet you she ain't said grace, because she wasn't worried about grace. She was worried about what was hot enough. <laughs> but when you say grace, you don't consider nothing negative that may have happened while they were cooking the food. So when you say grace over somebody's life, you don't consider nothing negative that they may have done prior to you, to you, or without you. You don't consider it because you just said what? Grace. Tell somebody. Learn to say grace over every person's circumstance, especially if it looks like they're struggling. You pray to God. You say grace over what needs help. See, when you pray, when y'all, what y'all do, you be sick. What y'all do, y'all, 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 y'all don't say grace. All right, now, yeah, uh, 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 you, you don't clap one too many times. Don't, don't put the camera on you. You don't clap one too many times. Right. I know y'all ready to go, but, but I'm going to get you out of here. But, but, but when you see somebody struggling, what y'all want to do, y'all want to tell God, God, um, make sure they don't have to go through this no more, and make sure um, 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 Minister, uh, and, uh, take this out of her life. Grace don't do that. Y'all don't, when y'all say grace, y'all don't go to the table saying, God, you better make sure this food tastes good. Y'all, when y'all, that's y'all prayer. When y'all should just be saying, Grace, cover this, Lord. Make sure Deacon, Deacon, Deacon Sherbert is all right, Lord. Cover this, Lord. Make sure Sister Stephen is all right, Lord. Cover this, Lord. Yes, yes. See, and then when you say cover this, Lord, God said, I'm going to cover it, but I'm going to make it easy for them, no matter what I got them prepared to go through. Yes, yes. That's 
what grace will do. But y'all get them in trouble because y'all going to tell God what he better do. That's why I stayed stuck so long because y'all said, Bishop, y'all let God take my bishop out of there. Hey, let me go through what I'm supposed to go through to teach you. Just tell him to cover me with his grace. Are we talking about it today? See, y'all, y'all caught up in that prayer. Prayer warriors. Grace ain't nothing but prayer. But it's a method of not dictating to God what he needs to do for me. It's a method of not dictating to God what he needs to do for somebody else. Because when I say grace, I'm supposed to not consider the negatives. Are we all right? So I want y'all praying for me, Lord. Let's go to God. Say the grace. Can I read this one more time? We'll get out of here. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. I just want to tell you, let them say grace and not prayer over me anymore. Just say grace. All I need you to do is go to God. And give me a little bit of grace. Is that all right? Huh? And I'll continue to say grace over your life. Everybody blessed tonight? Amen, man. Huh? One more time. It says here, 13 and 8. It says, Jesus is the same yet today, yesterday, and forevermore. Huh? So do not be attracted by strange new ideas telling God what he needs to do. Your strength comes from God's grace. Not from rules about food, but don't help those who follow them. Oh, a lot of y'all pray don't get done and then cuss the cookout later. Everybody blessed tonight? Is that anybody tonight? Uh huh? He, he lived because I don't say grace over him about him a thousand times. <laughs> Yeah. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. That is God's prayer. Grace is God's prayer. Because when I say grace, it's a guarantee of trusting God. Amen? It's a guarantee of trusting God. Hey, before you, you got to stand, Lee, Lee, Lee. You got I gave permission in. Oh, you left your grace? Yes. All right. You gave it to who? Oh, I thought you said it Richard. It might not get up here. <laughs> show me. Show me so I can go look at it. Okay, show me. Yeah. yeah. Put, put, break it out. Hey, y'all show me what he put in time to, to, yeah, to yesterday. Since, he, since you got all that right now, I want to see if you lied to God yesterday. Yeah. Now, now what's your what, what time look like? I'm, I'm going to teach you. Keep playing with this. Yeah. Uh-huh. I wanna, yeah, you show me all that. And I think you didn't put no time there yesterday. Let's get out of here, y'all. Let's get out of here. Uh, Dean Sherwood, you enjoyed it tonight? Sister Val, Vanessa, you got whatever you got in this, you enjoyed it? Hey, man, you, you got to put your time in tonight, man. Get the road. No, 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 you got more than time. That's right. That's right. Praise the Lord. We're going, we're going home. We're going home. Anybody, any burning desires tonight? Anybody, did this touch anybody? Anybody have anything they'd like to say about the word tonight? Anybody? Church is not out here, Richard. Just I see you on the camera, we can really strike her. All right, everybody get your gift out. Get your gift out.